have dropped. Here's what critics are saying about Robert Pattinson's Caped Crusader. Do I know if any of these are shills? I do not know! But you will know my review very, very, very soon. Sooner than you think. The time has finally come to see Robert Pattinson as the Caped Crusader. The Batman will make his highly anticipated premiere in theaters. This Friday, March 4th, with lofty box office expectations. Critics have already had a chance to see the Batman and Catwoman team up to take on the Riddler. Let's take a look at what reviews are saying about Matt Reeves' blockbuster. The Batman takes the superhero back to his second year of fighting crime. The Dark Knight will face off against the classic villain, the Riddler, a serial killer targeting Gotham's city's elite elites. Along with along the way, Bruce uncovers corruption that connects back to his fa own family, joining Robert Pattinson, Zoe Kravitz, and Paul Dano in the star study cast as uh, are Jeffrey Wright as Jane Gordon. Alright, let's keep going here. Starting with our Cinema Blend review, Eric. Eisenberg rates the blockbuster 4.5 out of 5, says Robert Pattinson and Colin Farrell are standouts, but the director does right by all of the film's actors, giving Matt Reeves uh, takes on the well-known superhero story a special personality. Quote, in many ways, the Batman is the film I've been waiting for as I've been a DC Comics fan. It doesn't treat the moviegoers as though it has to teach them who the main character is and instead drops us into a Bat-centric story without all the needless exposition. The key figures enter the picture organically from the narrative in a way that tells you everything you need to know about them. And it's, it all flows without excess stiltedness, end quote. Now, I like that because we don't need to be told the story again. We all know how he became Batman. All of us. Even people who don't know who Batman is, you ask them, hey, how do you think he became Batman? They'll tell you. They know. All right? It's in their blood. Let's see. Uh, Matt Singer of Screen Crush gives it a 7 out of 10, commending Matt Reeves' ambition in making the viewer see the familiar superhero in a new way. He said it also differs stylistically from its predecessors. It says here, quote, It primarily differs from Christopher Nolan and Zack Snyder's Batman films in the focus of its plot. Rather than presenting a non-stop barrage of chase and fights, the Batman director, Matt Reeves, uses action as sporadic punctuation in a genuine detective story. Only most of Batman's recent cinematic, cinematic adventures and most superhero films in general these days, this is a mystery of epic length, not an adventure of epic scale. Interesting. We shall see if this works for us. We shall see. That sounds good. We've always, and I've even talked about this, wanted to see the, the genius detective of Batman. We don't really get to see that. We, we, we see a little bit dabbled here and there, but, you know, Batman's almost unstoppable of a damn detective figuring things out and mysteries and all that stuff. So we never had a chance to see that. Let's see if we see this with this. This is what they're saying. So... Alex Stedman of IGN rates the film a masterpiece. 10 out of 10. 
saying when Robert Pattinson and Paul Dano face off, it's impossible to look away. Quote, the Batman is gripping, gorgeous, and at times a genuinely scary psychological crime thriller, thriller that gives Bruce Wayne the grounded detective story he deserves. Robert Pattinson is a as great as a very broken Batman, but it's Zoe Kravitz and Paul Dano who steal the show with a movingly layered Selena Kyle, Catwoman, and a terrifyingly unhinged Riddler. If you are vengeance, please do not lie. Writer-director Matt Reeves managed to make a Batman movie that's entirely different from the others in the live-action canon, yet surprisingly loyal to Gotham lore as a whole. Ultimately, it's one that thoroughly earns its place in this iconic character's legacy. Mm -hmm. Several critics make note of this version's serious tone in Robert Pattinson as what Leah Greenblatt of EW calls possibly the darkest night yet. She grades the movie a B, not noting of Patterson. See here, he journals, he broods, he plucks a single blueberry from a silver urn and gazing at it, gazes at it mournfully. For nearly three hours, he gives a great mood. And while that is not the same thing as a great movie, writer-director Matt Reeves of Cloverfield, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, nearly wills it to be in his sprawling operatic tale. So... Those are just a few of them that are listed here. Hopefully I have the same take. Make sure you are all here tomorrow. Hit that bell. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe. Hit that bell. <laughs> Post your comments down below. Let me know what you all thought. If you enjoy my reaction to this good Batman news, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers. Ah!